everyone welcome back to my channel so I want to do this quick video today on this horse lovers math right here um, it I mentioned it in another video and showed it quickly and um, <clears throat> I thought I'd get more in depth into it and explain what it is and why we're using it and sort of give people a flip through if you're interested in purchasing it now a little bit of background uh, my daughter is 10 and up until this year, she has done really well in math. Um, we've always used Right Start from the beginning. And it's been a pretty good fit. I mean, it's lots of hands-on and games. And it's not focusing so much on one subject. It kind of bounces around. So you get a little practice here, a little there. And it seems to help with burnout. Um, so you aren't focusing all on multiplication for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, you touch on it as you go and it's always seemed to work out however um, I don't know if it's been a developmental thing or if it's a math curriculum um, I really don't know um, what's been going on but she has suddenly um, given me a lot of resistance when it comes to math uh, which has created a lot of frustration between both of us um, and it's gotten to the point where I don't feel like I am I at least should maybe not be the person teaching her math. Maybe I'm passing on some of my math anxiety. I did not do well in math in school after fifth grade. And I don't think um, I have any sort of math learning disability or anything. Um, however, if I am asked a math question in an educational type context, like if I'm taking a quiz or something, I immediately feel upset, angry, um, tearful, anxious, and I shut down and I, I can't do it and I won't do it. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is other than maybe um, some public school induced math anxiety because I was, um, I did really well in math, uh, made A's in it all the time until fifth grade and I was put into an adva advanced uh, math class and fell horribly um, behind and never quite recovered my confidence in math and from then onward hated it and got really anxious and cried about it a lot, shed a lot of tears. Um, that's just to give you some background on what I think is going on maybe with my daughter. I feel like inadvertently and certainly not on purpose, maybe I've put some of my math anxiety on her because math is a subject that I don't feel is comfortable letting go and going with the flow and see what happens, um, which is what we've done with a lot of other um, subjects that we do. And it's worked out fine and I feel totally ra relaxed and we'll all get it in due time, but math is one that I insist on every day and that I sort of insist that they get right. You know, if they get it wrong, we go, we go back, we go over it. I go through the steps of every single problem with them. <laughs> Um, no matter what because I want them so badly to understand it and I want to work with them the way that I wasn't worked with um, because I was left to fall behind um, and maybe I've I've created this uh, issue so having said that that I think I've created this issue I want to one get um, look into some math or math curriculum uh, that would satisfy both of us my need for them to get a little bit of practice in it every day and feel confident and good about it um, But also to give them some independence because now I'm starting to think that maybe once they have reached a certain age Because um, my seven-year-old's been doing great with the way that we've been working together um, So I'm not gonna mess with that yet But maybe now my daughter has reached an age um, that she needs more independence in her math so I deliberately sought out something that she could do more independently, like a self-study where she could read um, the instructions and kind of teach herself. And then I'll be there to help when needed, but I'm not going to be sitting next to her um, being a buddy in math anymore. So I was looking and looking and, and, and did a lot of research and soul searching on this for myself as well. And, uh, one of my daughter's main interests right now is horses and she wants to be a big animal vet and I've been trying to tell her you know how relevant math is for any sort of animal ownership but especially for larger animals and especially if you want to be a vet there's so many um, calculations that have to happen um, you have to know the weight of animals and calculate 
their medicines and food intake and I mean all sorts of things uh, so I ended up stumbling across horse lovers math um, and as I mentioned before in my previous video it's level one but that does not mean first grade um, when I went back and looked online this is more intended for fourth fifth and sixth grade so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the camera here in a moment and I'm gonna do a flip through of this and show you guys more in depth what is in this book lovers math understanding math through horses it is a spiral bound book and excuse any of the stains on my table that's permanent um let's see level one and it kind of has different themes um as you move through the book and this is by deborah stacy uh and it's a day in the life a trip to the tax store horse science stable management sports horse facts and math games and things to make and do so it's kind of like a multi-purpose book. It's not just math facts throughout this, which is which is nice. And my daughter seems to be enjoying. Um, she, I'm not going to lie, it's still a struggle sometimes. And there's still tears. But she's managed to um, gain a little bit more independence and seems to be having um, some breakthroughs recently with this. So... This is the first page, but there's not any math starting yet. It's just kind of gives you a rundown, like sort of <laughs> um, different math concepts that can be interwoven with horses, like confirmation and measuring the horse, horse's weight, the length of a horse's stride, um, barrel, raising, barrel racing, and uh, I guess the amount of feet between the barrels that they have to spin around. And here's the table of contents. Uh, the first lesson or first few pages is a day in the life and it's like summer camp themed then a trip to the tax store and she's on this one right now so we aren't that far into it but so for example today she was um doing grooming tools and like a trip to the store type theme where she had to calculate how many horse brushes could she buy with forty dollars if they're 10.95 a piece um and things of that nature and again i have we haven't gotten this far into it or she hasn't um, obviously there's some science that touches on with this, so it's all, it's all interwoven. Um, like the science of horses and what they eat, there's facts and stuff that spread throughout here that makes it interesting for the kids, um, or for my daughter to read and enjoy, um, learning about her favorite subject right now, but also, you know, seeing how math is relevant to it. So the first thing that she's done here is, um, was all time. And AM or PM, it even touched on military time, which was kind of fun for me to step in and explain to my daughter what that was. Um, and then over here, it has little sidebars that say stuff like horse talk, schooling show. Um, a schooling show is a competition for people and horses who are still learning. It's an opportunity for riders and horses to become familiar with the show environment. And so this kind of starts off with a little story. Um, these two girls are taking horseback riding lessons. Um... And they're like at they're at a summer camp where they need to get to the barn by a certain time um, And then she has to calculate how many minutes have elapsed or what time of day they're talking about And it kind of just moves through there and then in interwoven here is just some pictures real pictures of real people with horses at a barn um, They're just black and white uh, so not really too distracting with the color if that's an issue with you or your kids. And then some more horse talk. Um, bridle path. So where a bridle would go on a horse. And then showmanship, showmanship and what that means in the horse world. Let me flip back here really quick. So the last, um, the last section of this book was time telling and camp. And then at the end of a section like that, because she did this. At the end of a section like that, it shows you um, what you covered and even vocabulary um, and what parts of math you covered. So the horsemanship part and what you learned about horsemanship and the show and vocabulary like tack up, flat work, bridle path. And then um, the math that you covered, which there was a lot of time telling, a little bit of geometry, and then a little bit of math vocabulary as well. And then the next section is a trip to the tax store. And what basic items do you need um, to groom a horse? How much do they cost? Um, how to measure yourself so you can get the right size things for you? How much money you should bring? 
Um, all really relevant stuff to a horse lover and my daughter, even though there has been some tears and she's working through it, um, she, she really seems to like it so far. Um, it seems to be motivating her to do more math, which is all I want. You know, you don't have to love it, but I want her to see that it's important and relevant to her life. Um, so here's a little bit of horse science that it's covering as well. So skeletons and... Um, measuring a horse and then the different parts of a bo uh, of horses bodies so lots of vocabulary and science um, and with this math as well and let's see let me flip through the back here looks like there's some puzzles uh, and act more fun activity uh, type worksheets in the back back here it looks like these are the um, these are the answers, which I didn't, I actually, I didn't know this was back here. I figured it was. I just haven't bothered looking through it that much. I um, just work through the problem myself uh, when I'm checking it for my daughter when she asked me to check it for her. But this is nice to know if I ever get stuck. Um, so I figured that was back here. I've just never looked through it. So yeah, it says the answers. And then here's another summary of things that... Um, this last chapter went through so all in all it says 160 pages um quite a lot of math is covered here uh is it a year's worth i'm not sure um maybe someone um uh, you know someone with a child more a little bit more excited and motivated to do math right now um that isn't struggling like my daughter is would probably get this done in way less than a year um i don't think it will take us the whole year maybe maybe a semester I'm not sure because a lot of it is lengthy um, reading and word type problems and really uh, to get you thinking versus just rote facts and worksheets that the kids have to fill out you know constantly my arm was getting tired holding um, my camera up and trying to flip through that for you but that's like the basics of of this book um, and you can find it on Amazon. That's where I ordered it from. And there's lots of good reviews on there. Obviously, uh, there isn't that much. I mean, as far as I know, I have not heard about this very much in homeschooling circles. So there's not that many uh, reviews out there other than what ones I could find on Amazon. And most people really uh, seem to enjoy this. And for their horse-loving children, um, it's been a big win. So it was worth it to me to try out. I, ooh, I wish I could remember how much it cost. <sighs> how much did it cost? All right, I went back and looked really quick. Uh, this cost $25, so not a huge investment. It was worth it for me to try out for my daughter. Um, this has not, and we've only been using this for a couple weeks, um, but this has not eliminated our math problems. This hasn't been a magic fix. Um, my daughter has still cried nearly every time that she's done math. Um, and I think that's just going to be the nature of the beast right now. Uh, I don't have all the answers. I don't know how to move forward with this. All I know is that despite the tears, um, she will initially cry when she experiences any, any sort of frustration with math, even if it's in this book. The only thing that I've been doing differently is saying... I'm here if you need help, but I'm going to leave you alone because before I was being her buddy in math and that really was not working out well at all. There was still, if not as much tears, there were more tears, um, anger on both of us, um, me getting offended for being yelled at like by my daughter, um, which I can't help, I'm human, you know, like I'm here to help you, why are you screaming and yelling at me? And then, you know, her getting angry because I'm trying to understand what she doesn't understand. And she's, you know, I told you and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it, this hasn't fixed that. This hasn't fixed all that, but it's made it better. And that's all I'm, I'm wanting right now. And I think that's what my daughter's looking for, for right now. And she will cry and work through a problem in here. And if she really just can't stand it anymore, she will come get me and say, Okay, mom, I need help. And I say, okay, as long as you don't don't yell at me, I'm going to come help you, um, and we we will figure this out together. And we're just working through that. Again, this is very new, um, but from the way it's been going, I think 
it will continue to improve and get better. Um, so this has been a big win for us right now. It's what we need right now in our homeschooling journey. So I'm just going to stick with this and go with it. And then if I feel like it's not working anymore, um, we'll obviously drop it and try to figure it out because we're in this together. That's the main takeaway that I want my daughter to get from this is we are in um, her learning journey together and I'm here to help her. Um, and I'm also here to back off if she needs me to back off. <laughs> um, but so far this has been good. She's really enjoyed it. Um, she feels a greater, she has been feeling a greater sense of accomplishment when she works through it. There's still frustration, still tears, still anger sometimes. Um, when she's trying to figure out what it's wanting her to do or what the question is about. The difference is with this, because it's more relevant to her when she starts getting it and moving through it. Um, and when she has worked through a page all by herself, she feels proud of herself. And that's, that's more important to me than her getting all the answers right um, or using a more tried and true curriculum right now. I want her to see the relevance of math and I want her to enjoy it as much as she can um, moving forward. So that was Horse Lovers Math Level 1 and sort of what we've been going through with our math struggle a little bit more. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope that I helped uh, someone, you know, if you were curious about this, um, I hope you sort of understood my video and my little flip through. It was kind of all over the place. Uh, and of course, if you have used this and um, you have any thoughts on it, please leave that in a comment below. And especially if you've struggled with this um, math problem with maybe a kid has loved it before or enjoyed math before and suddenly that's not happening anymore. And if you have any tips or advice for that, um, I would be so grateful if you left those in comments below. Uh, but thank you for watching and I will see you all again really soon.